hi Chase. I just wanted to say hi. I guess I already did it. So I guess I'll just continue to ramble on for about five minutes. Okay. Well, since you're not on the phone and I'm talking to myself, I guess I could let you go. I just wanted to say hi anyways, so I'll just I'll just say bye now. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Firefly City! Woo! They're well, cool and they don't fly away. Oh man, you know, I live on the west coast and we don't get fireflies. I, I traveled across the country and one of the things I got to see on my road trip was fireflies in Texas. And I, I gotta tell you, I, I don't want to live in Texas. Um, For whatever reason, I don't think Texas is where I want to live, but woo Jesus. Um, but dude... What is a uh, what is that? What is it? Meeseeks. <laughs> it's Mr. Meeseeks. Look at him. Oh, look at me. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, I I think it makes it pretty easy to see which one of those things are the mages. Yeah, dude. Um, ooh, I remember that spell. Yeah. Uh, no, but um, I miss fireflies. Uh. I think it's a crime. That we don't have fireflies. Yeah, like, I, I've never actually seen one in person. Are they really neat? Dude, they are so phenomenally cool. And I didn't even, like, I saw them, like, for, you know, a couple of nights. And, and like, apparently, the farther down you go into, like, South Carolina and, and stuff like that, they're even better. Like, they're more vivid and stuff like that. But it's just so phenomenal. And, and I, I was told a really funny story. Well, you, you might not think it's funny, but... <laughs> well... Driving down the freeway, somebody was talking about how they were driving down the freeway, and, and like, every once in a while, they just, like, have this little glow on their windshield, and it'd go splat, and it'd just, because they'd hit a, a, a bug. Oh, yeah? They're bioluminescent, so, like, their thing just happens when they push their, 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 their chemicals around inside of their body. So, <laughs> I mean, so, so it, it's not something that they have a to whole ton of, uh, control over after their body explodes and they just kind of like glow up onto the windshield. Oh, so is your windshield starts glowing with the goo? Yeah, it just kind of oh. like it's like splat, splat, splat. I mean like I, I don't like know. Well, stuff like bugs, that, but it's it's still cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, you hit bugs with your car. That's just, you know, that's just what happens. God damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you, are you are you somewhere different? Yeah, I'm somewhere different now. I don't, okay, it's just the I same think, kind of contraption? Yeah. So you're going up again? We're going up. Wow. And I guess we're talking about the east side. Going on up. Talking about the east side. Oh, we're here. Where's here? Well, where we first encountered the first snakehead man. Oh, really? Yeah, unless the room looks exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> Your jacket. That's really neat. And my clothes, like, have individual... Physics controls? Physics, yeah. yeah. All right. Pick a boop. You see him firing off in all directions because you was surprised. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> so this is a swamp. A swampy swamp. And I've been here for days. And days. I want to go home. And days. And I haven't gone home yet. And I think that was a dead end. So we're going down here. All right. Um, this is where the pig was. This is. Yeah. This is where the pig be. Can you go through there? Yeah. I hope there's stuff under here, though. I'm kind of go... You? To your right. I don't think I'd ever really go through here. Oh, my God, no. I mean, but the booty... I mean, like, that's... That's why most treasure hunters do what they do. I mean, I'm sure they don't, like... <laughs> yeah, like, you wouldn't um, open up a fridge full of mold to not get any food. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you're still going to reach past that mold. Yeah, as long as there's some reach passing about uh, worth worth it, worthies. Yeah. Yep. Words. There's cake in there, man. I mean, where else would you keep your? I always your think of cake? that weird owl song. Which one? The 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 something in the fridge. It's lemon in the fridge. You can't stop the mold from growing. Yeah, that song. I don't even. Don't know what it is at all. Wow, I haven't heard that song. Living in the fridge, you can't stop. Okay, it's just one light side. Could be coffee cake or woolly mammoth steak. Huh. Well, maybe I'll just take another peek. That's like one of my favorite ones. I can't There's believe it. There's a pig. You're right. 
Wait. Oh my god, it's right behind you. I had to take out the more immediate threat of the guy sitting He's in the He's stepping swamp. in the fire. You don't have to worry about that guy at all. He's going to kill himself. Wow. He oh. roasted. He roasted himself for you. Yeah, he's a... Wow. You know, this one time I had a... It brings up a really weird dream I had about um, a pig. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, he just pointed me in the U-turn toward the island because oh, I forgot yeah. it. You know, let's, let's cue the audience in on why I'm why you're laughing. <laughs> well, I, I like I didn't I didn't explain it because I didn't want to interrupt your story. Sure, I kind of sure. like I kind of went whoop, with like, like a hand motion when you're driving and someone just like points you where to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'm sorry, you were saying a, a I, pig oh, dream. I, I had this really interesting dream about a pig once where um, uh, a, a group of people and I descended down into a volcano. And there, a bunch of like little um, elemental sprite type people mm -hmm. were showing us the way. And they showed us the way down into the uh, like... This is where you've already been. Okay. So go I, I thought I saw that butt before. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen you before? I don't know. Throwing around. <laughs> Do we... Nah, no. never forget the back of a girl's head. <laughs> yeah. What was that game called? I don't know, Sorry, dude. It started to run off on a tangent. That was a, that was a ridiculous game. It was, it was game. like one of the first like flash dating game type yeah. things. Anyways, it was, it was you were saying hilarious. Your, your dream about descending into... Oh, man, look at all those corpses. This looks like a boss room. This does look like a boss room. Do you want to finish your story before you go in there? No, I'll try to finish it while I'm talking. Oop. So, I w there was these things letting us, uh, leading us to a volcano. Mm -hmm. And um, I get down there, and there's just a big pig sitting in the lava. Like, he's a giant, giant boar, like, almost as big as a volcano. Just taking a bath? Yeah. And so what happens is this pig, it, like, I guess we were on, like, a cruise or something. Anyway, he, like, flays his own arm, and uh, he, lay, he cooks the meat in the, me? in the volcano. <laughs> and they... And he presents us his arm to eat. Oh wow! He's and, like, here you go, buddy. And it, it, it was really it's like hospitality. really vivid dream. And um, a different state. Well, wow! I cannot believe he missed you. Yeah, that was luck. At different stages in the in the dream, he would just present different parts of his self to for us to consume for the people. Mm -hmm. And we would uh, we would eat him. And while he was still alive. And he would just cook himself in the volcano that he was sitting in. Mm -hmm. So weird. And now that I think about it, it's just really gross. And then later on, we uh, leak fly off into uh, the sunset uh, on uh, weird, uh, weird wings made out of these things that the pixies made out of us, and we fly out of the volcano. It was really gross. Anyway, that yeah. pig just reminded me of that. Hmm. And, um, oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds really unfortunate. Oh man, you're doing really well. Get that guy! Man. I just figured I'd be able to kill this one. I mean, if you kill I, that I, one... I'm thinking... I'm hoping this isn't one of those battles where you have to kill them all at the same time. Oh, Jesus, yeah. He really telegraphs his attacks there. Yeah, but that's not a bad thing for you. Uh-oh, what's happening? That is not good. Now, now they're all snake dudes. Yeah. Oh, they're all snake dudes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Do you have a snake arm? Is he a You're going the wrong way, dude. That, there's a guy oh, over there. Oh, is there a guy right there? God yeah. dang it. Okay. Well, I want to finish this guy. So, maybe you should throw a Molotovs in him? Or just do what you're doing? Oh, he got away. This other guy with the fire? He's pissing me off. He's being a real chump. Oh. Come here. Come here. Do a thing. Do a thing. The fire homes on you. You gotta be careful. <laughs> fire homes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, that got so much fire, dude. So, I, I feel like I want to kill this guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you know, I want to change my methods here. It's pissing me off. You do way more damage to that guy than you do. Oh, oh. did I just get launched? Let's launch over it. Who wants to... <laughs> what is that? What is that shit called? Who wants a bottom sauce? It's the, it's the, the Fensler Joe, films. The Fensler films. Yeah. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's doing a snake attack. You're gonna die. It's like when you're really sneaky, but you're a snake. Wow. 
Uh, I sucked it up so bad. You were doing really good, and you like even told a whole story while you were doing it. Yeah. You gotta kill him now. You know what you gotta do? You gotta mm -hmm. kill him. Do you think I gotta just, you just gotta suck kill it up and kill him? You just gotta kill him, dude. Should I take a sedative? <laughs> Why don't you eat a bastard of Loran? Yeah, look at it. It's such a graphic picture. I think someone had a kid. Ooh, like... oh god, no. Why don't you make me look at that? Wait, Fuck. you didn't wanna see it? No. No, you gotta see them. Make telling me to eat bastard children. Is this the way? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I think so. Uh, I don't know anymore. Man. I'm feeling kind of discouraged after my snake fight. Should I have used the axe? Should I have gone back and upgraded my shits? I thought I could totally take any boss at that exact moment. <laughs> felt empowered, huh? Yes, I did. No, I think this weapon's been doing a lot of damage. Like, you pulled out your axe to fight these other snakes. And you weren't doing very much damage, Ace. I, I know. Well, you... The thing is, I think I completely forgot about the uh, the lightning stuff. So I'm going to lightning stuff to my weapon. Oh, yeah. And then maybe do more. I don't know if it actually affects the visceral attacks, though. So we'll have to see. In fact, I'm going to check on this guy. Every time you say visceral, I think about freaking... Uh, no, I'm not. I'm scared of him. I think of, I think of the Rocky Horror Picture Show and, like, uh, Tim Curry going... Oh, where we can take in a Steve Reeves movie? Because he's like talking about something more visceral. Oh, is that really? really? Yeah, he's talking, <laughs> it's, it's it just, it just, it, every time you say visceral attack, I'm, that's what I think about. I, I think of Tim Curry going, <laughs> something more visceral. No, that's not even, but yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what's funny is I don't think I've ever watched Rocky Horror Picture Show. No? No. It's kind of an eclectic thing. You don't you don't necessarily just like it. Mm -hmm. It's something that you like. I remember my uh, my stepdad. He he was always like, "Yo, you gotta watch this. It's really good." And he was he was like totally redneck. I mean, he was full blown redneck. Full blown redneck enjoying the Rocky Horror. Picture but he was show. enjoying the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I and and like now that I look back on it, I'm like I'm like, why did he like this? Hmm. Because it it was so out of his character. But he he thought it was just the most coolest thing. That's interesting. But, um... I guess everybody is, like, one way, and then they have their own fetishes or whatever. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure it had much to do with fetishes, but, but um... It, it was just, like, his his taste for it just kind of caught me off guard. Uh -huh. But it was also something that I had seen him watching, and I had watched, and I just had no interest in it when I was younger. Sure. I, you know, when I was, I think it was 18 or 19, I was watching, I was like, wow, this is pretty fucking cool. It's just, you know, like, the passage of time changes your opinions on certain things. Yeah, dude. I guess that's all I'm really saying. Passage of time. Right, are you going to take off the magic guy's head first? I don't know. He he was he was very distracting. I just don't know how feasible it is for me to kill him first. You do a buttload more damage to him. Like like when you if a visceral attack that other dude, you do just a little bit more damage than that. Huh. Like no, oh, you got the other guy instead. The guy with the samurai sword only. You don't do that much damage. Of course, you uh, maybe you're lightning inning. Light oh my god, no! Lightning inning your damages. I'm. You know, I'm actually not sure. I think a visceral attack might have a set amount of damage that it does. Oh no! Didn't quite. Didn't quite get that. You know what? I'm. I'm tired of this. Samurai Jack asshole kind of kicking my ass. He's doing some uh, Devil May Cry launch attack. Yeah. This samurai Jackhole. Come here, Jackhole. Bam! No, not, no, too, too, too slow, too slow. What happened? Wow. Where are they? Dude, that's why I think you really need to focus on those guys first. Maybe you're right. It just seems like he's always up my butt. You gotta roll out of the way, those dude. Get a roll. You rolled the wrong way. I'm just so. I'm just so. I'm, I think I'm. Roll, even. roll, roll. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. God dang it. This is an impressive display of incompetence. Yeah, I guess we'll try it one more time. All right, guys, we'll try it one more time here. Hey, you know what? Can you summon people? I haven't seen any summoning things uh, along this road, so I don't know. 
do you do you drop down a thing to summon in this game? I don't remember how it uh, how it's um, done. I haven't done it even one time, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, fuck it. We'll do it live. We're doing it kind of live. It's not. We're not live. We're we can edit this as many times as we want to. <laughs> Technically true. Do do do. Um, I need to think a second. The first. What was the first thing you kind of picture? Hold on. Yeah, you remember masturbating too. J.C. Penny catalog. The, that's the very first thing. Probably. I mean, on the vein of, uh, on the vein of the first things we did with our dicks. Besides, you learn how to pee out of them. Um, into the proper place. Into the proper place. Um, no, I think there was like, the Fox Channel or something like that had like adult films that they would play and they'd like blur them out. The Fox, like Fox News or like Fox, like FX. Oh, they blur them. Yeah. I see. Okay. I think that was one of the first ones. I don't know. I think the very first type of thing that I was really interested in was like... Um... Oh, yeah, that's what it was. It was Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, that's right. I remember this. <laughs> yeah. So every time Star Trek The Next Generation was on, I'd... Uh, I'd... Pray and hope. That... I'd, I'd get off to... Um... What was her name? Deanna Troy. Deanna Troy uh, and yeah. Dr. Crusher. Dr. Crusher? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. She she didn't do it for me. No. No. Yeah, both of them. I was just like, okay, well, TNG's on. I hope <laughs> the ladies are in there because it's time to masturbate. <laughs> it was just like something... Mom, close the door! <laughs> yeah. Watching TNG. She's like, you, you want to watch Star Trek with me? I'm like, I don't. Not with you, Mom. <laughs> so that's what... That's what I would do. She walks in the door later and she's watching Star Trek and she feels all dejected. <laughs> she thinks she just didn't want to watch Star Trek with her. Yeah, yeah, I'm just watching it by myself. Oh. Huh. Well, I never thought about that. Dude, what am I doing? Hold on. I'm trying to get something here. I don't know. You came here and started talking about whacking off. I'm trying to... I'm trying... I'm thinking about boobs now. Because cause their outfits were really nice. And uh, Dan had that really low cut purple thing that she'd wear green purple purple i guess it was purple it was purple yeah she had various other suits but i liked that purple one the best sorry i uh, keep exiting my menu i'm trying to get enough solo so i can buy a different gun there we go you there's a different gun you can buy yeah i was playing the game um in the interim of playing the game with you, and I was using this pistol, and it shoots a little faster. And now I don't know how to equip it. What was, uh, did you ever have any weird TV shows besides, like, those weird things that you could scroll up and down on your cable box or something and get, like, the blurred out Playboy channel? Oh my god. You know what? That's so funny, too. You bring that up, and, like, I used to watch that shit, and depending on, like, what kinds of background they had, like, there was a time when I was watching it where, like, it was just naked women rolling around on a white background. Mm hmm And, like, it because it was all white, it didn't, like, static it as much. Uh-huh. And you saw almost everything. And, it, like, it blurred, like, a little bottom portion of it just, like, a little bit. And I was like, but no, that was, like, the best. And it's funny because I have that memory. Now, I don't know. <laughs> what are kids growing up with now? They're, like, because I remember. I like, remember, ridiculous, like, HD porn. Yeah, no, I remember going over to my my uh, my aunt's house, and they had the internet, and I didn't. And I remember packing as much pornographic pictures as I could onto one of those three and a half inch floppy disks. I did. I packed like I packed like as much porn pictures onto these little floppy disks, <laughs> like the, the little floppy disk. And I was trying to like be all sneaky, right? So uh -huh. like my aunt also had a swimming pool, and. Uh, so like I'm like I'm, oh, okay I'm gonna wrap the towel around me and like we're gonna go home and I'll be I'll just like tuck it into like the side here of oh, my yeah. of my of my towel and like I was walking by my parents and like one of them dropped out and <laughs> fell on the ground and like it like clank clank clanked and so they all looked at it and I was like looked around bent down picked it up and said this is weird and I went and placed <laughs> it back. <laughs> <laughs> I went and placed it back on the pile of, of floppy disks that they have over there. Or at least that's what I acted like I did. Uh -huh. And I just stuck it back in there and finally made it home with it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the kind of work I had to go through 
to get porn as a young adult. I mean, not even, a, I was probably 15, 16 or something like that, right? That's funny, man. But nowadays, kids are getting cell phones. I mean, there's like, there's 12 and 13 year old kids that I know that have cell phones. The, well, they're like younger than that. Have well, they? even even younger than that. But, but I mean, like, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe people get into, uh, interested in sex and porn and stuff like that before that age, but not me. I, I was, sure. I was, I was, I was relatively old. I was mature before I started jerking off like a crazy fiend. Like a fiend. Um, no, but, but yeah, I, I it's, 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 it's come, it's become like one of those modern things to joke about in how easy it is for young adults now to like find something to spank it to. Well, yeah. And the thing is, I think um, there's so much like weird hardcore porn. Oh yeah. That uh, I don't. That's nothing like actual sex. Yeah. That we. I think kids have a weird uh, idea of idea what, sex of what is, supposed is to be. expected of them yeah. in the bedroom or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, and I think that's. And and since I had such a little a little sex ed uh, experience and I had to figure out what the hell my own jizz was, mm-hmm. <laughs> like. I, I feel that a lot of kids just um, will start doing the weirdest things right away and they won't even enjoy what they're doing. Or maybe they'll enjoy it a little they'll, too much. They'll think Ooh. that that's what they're supposed to be doing, but, you know, it's it's just, it's porn. It's not, mm-hmm. yeah. No, it, and they've done studies and stuff like that that have said that that porn, uh, when you're looking at porn and you don't understand what it is, it's basically ruining your, your sex life. Yeah. Yeah, but, that's uh, got to be weird. Like some, and it's like it, it's like the transition from cooties to oh, I like this girl to wait, the fuck is going on in this shit? Yeah, yeah. I better buff up so I can fuck a lot of women, or not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it has anything to do with being buff. All right, back. Yeah, back to the shadows of Yaharnaharn. Well, I mean, a lot of like, pe- what I'm getting at is a lot of the people are buff in those videos. Well, sure. I mean, like. Uh, in the buff. Whoa. Whoa. But I guess what I was trying to say is... Kids don't know how good they got it these days. <laughs> I don't All like right. Fireman. I must think if I'm going to just like... Oh, ho. Well, I got him and he got me. Can you calm the fuck down, though? Oop. Oop. Oh. oh. Fire guy got me again. I don't. I feel like I'm not doing a good job. There we go. You're got, not doing a bad job. Got one per se. Ego. Ego. Lego my ego. <laughs> Here we go. Blam. You got it pretty smooth though. I mean, like you know, you know now. I mean, you can read his moves relatively easily. Yeah, sometimes. I love how he breathes that fire like that. That's really cool. I like this boss combination because there's like three of them and you can basically do it in any order you wanted. Sure. Does this guy ever use his hammer? Oh, he I sure guess he does. does. I guess when you get too close, he busts you in the nuts with his mace. <laughs> this is why they call me the Rucker. Okay, dude, stop. You gotta stop. I'm talking to myself. There you go. Uh-oh. You better start wailing on them, because in a second they're going to start snaking out. They're snaking oh, out. Oh, you're right. He's snaking out. God dang it. I thought I had another hit on that guy before he started freaking the shit out. Uh-oh. Oh, he turned man. this thing on fire by rubbing it on some snakes. <laughs> okay, hold on. Just got to go. No. Nope. He's got a long-range attack now. No, I want to... Ooh! That was a close one. It's so funny how you don't actually take damage, because you're attacking them. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Wrong way. That's not the wrong... Oh, God. That's the wrong way. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna kill these guys. I'm gonna kill these guys. That's Well, that's the plan, right? I mean, fingers crossed. Wow, you got one. Now I got two guys to worry about. I don't think it'll be as bad, but dude! Wow. Calm down. No. Oh, no. Okay, wait. I wanna... Uh-oh. That really, really, really hurt. Roll some more! These, you know what? I want to know. Like, okay, so there's 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 magic, and mm-hmm. I I get it. Magic's cool, but how do you how do you make a fireball curve after somebody like that? Dude, that one is so cool to see if it's right. This guy, 
I, I want to say eviscerate. I, I know that I know that that's not like what you're doing. I, I think it might be. <laughs> but you said it. I thought you said it was a visceral attack. Yeah, and they're called visceral attacks, but I think eviscerate is a proper proper terminology. Term for what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Fireball. <laughs> like yes. Like how can the snake? How's the snake cast fireball? He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Duck behind that thing. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, where's the other guy? He's freaking me out. I feel like okay. I feel like I want to well, kill this other guy, like get his life down. Because if one thing happened when they, when one guy was low, what happens when two guys are low? I guess this is a true point. I mean, you just get one big snake. Come here. I want you to attack me with your ball. Attack me with your ball. I think I might just have to hit this guy. Oh man. There's just... Uh-oh. Okay, that didn't work. Sorry. Sorry about everybody. <laughs> what? What's happening? I'm actually just losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He saved you from getting hit by fire. Yeah, I think I would have rather gotten hit by the fire, though. Like, honestly, I think it does less damage than that guy's flaming sword. No, no. See? Homing fireball. No. No, 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 no. You know what I was doing. You do a ton of damage to that guy. He's got cloth armor. <laughs> he hasn't taken pro proficiency. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got him low enough. Oh my god. I am so done with homing fireballs after today. <laughs> I'm just shooting that guy for fun. Now you're all out of bullets. Yep. Got you. What does your what does your red plus five up there for bullets mean? They can temporarily uh, get bullets. Oh. By being cool. Oh no! I wanted to jump. I wanted to do the jump. Oh gosh. All right, I'm trying to be quiet to let you focus, but I also want to be entertaining. Yeah. Just what my job Just, is here. I don't know what's going on. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about them. <laughs> oh, back at you, buddy. Back at you. Okay, so we got him. Is he gonna? He is. Oh my God! What's happening? Is he powering up? Oh my God! What was that? Wow. What, what happened? Did he cast a spell? Did Did snakes just pop out of the, the wall? They shot from across the screen. It looked like. Uh oh! They're happening oh, no. again. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yep. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Oh no! Wait. They they went away. Oh, they came back. Oh. I I don't get, I don't want. Can you avoid that? The, oh. the snakes? Yeah. I'm trying. Oh, man. It's freaking me out so bad. Where is he? He's behind the rock. Oh. Oh, this is it. This is, this is it. He's... Oh, wow. Wow, did I do it? Yeah, Holy good crap. Job. Yes. Praise laughter. <laughs> I don't know what. Alright, now you can go back and spend your 77,000 shoal. Black Coast. Is it, it'd be really nice if, like, so you're going out through your day and you're, like, walking around town. And, uh, you know, you're kind of, like, viewing the sights and looking at clouds and getting new experiences. And then, like, you go home and say, like, you exercise that day. And then when you get home, you have money to spend. Mm-hmm. Because you got Cause done I feel, with it. Yeah, you know, that's what I feel like I did. I went around. I beat up some... What is that? I beat up some dudes, you know, and now I have money to spend when I get home. Yeah, I don't, I don't, don't know what's going on, dude. Yeah, dude. What get is out this? Of there. Fucking Mothman? Go back home and heal yourself. Yeah, I will. I, uh, I, I would go back home, but um, I don't, I don't have any uh, lantern to, to teleport home to. That was a lantern back there. You were right next to it. You oh, clicked on it. Did I? Sorry, I guess the snake's fucked with it's my right brain. There. I'm a little punch drunk. One too many rounds with the snake. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even notice. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. Bye. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time. I'm so dumb.